This is John Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to install an add-on. First, you must decide which add-on you wish to install. There are many different websites dedicated to World of Warcraft add-ons where you can read descriptions and reviews to see if the add-on is the right one for you. WoW Interface, WoW Ace, and Curse are several popular examples of websites that provide access to WoW add-ons. Your friends probably have recommendations on add-ons that might be helpful for you as well. Here we see the homepage for WoWInterface.com. I've already decided to download Deadly Boss Mods as an example. It is common practice on these sites for there to be a search bar where you can type the name of the add-on you wish to find. It is also common for these sites to have categories for add-ons if you're not sure exactly what you're looking for. Once the search is complete, you simply select the add-on you wish from the list of results. It is good to note that most add-on sites provide the number of times a particular add-on has been downloaded before. If you are searching for a popular add-on, it's a safe bet that the one with the most downloads is the one that you are searching for. After clicking on the desired add-on, you will be taken to a page that gives a description of its purpose and usually reviews from players that have used this add-on before. Once you are reasonably sure this is the add-on you want, simply click the download button contained on this page. Depending on your computer's settings and which browser you utilize, you should get a dialog box that will ask if you want to open or save the add-on. I recommend you select Save, and then choose a location that will be easy for you to find once the download is complete. In this case, I will select the desktop for my download. If you lose track of where your add-on was saved to, simply download the add-on again and carefully select a location that will be easy for you to find and open once the download is complete. When you have finished the download, find its location and open it. Then open your add-ons folder. This folder is always inside the World of Warcraft installation directory under Interface and then Add-ons. The default location in Windows XP and Windows 7 is C, Program Files, World of Warcraft. And for Windows Vista, it is C, Users, Public, Games, World of Warcraft, and then Interface and Add-ons. If you're still having trouble finding where your World of Warcraft folder is installed, but you have a desktop icon for it, you can right-click on the icon and select Properties. Then click the button that says Open File Location or Find Target. Either of these options should open the World of Warcraft folder, and then you can open the interface and add-ons folders from there. Once you have both the downloaded add-on and the Warcraft add-ons folder open, dependent on your version of Windows, click either Edit or Organize, and then select All. Once all the folders from the downloaded add-on are highlighted, click Edit or Organize, and then Copy. Then at the top left of your WoW add-ons folder, click either Edit or Organize again, and click Paste. The goal is to copy all the folders from the add-on you downloaded and paste them into your Warcraft's add-on folder. Please note that if you are updating an add-on you already have, Windows will ask you if you wish to replace the existing files and folders. You must allow these replacements in order to finish the update. It is safe to download and install add-ons with World of Warcraft running. However, the add-ons are loaded as the game starts up, and any changes or additions you have made will not be applied until the game has been completely restarted. It is not, however, necessary to restart your computer to update or apply new add-ons. Add-ons are generally updated by the people who create them in order to be compatible with new versions of the game, add functionality, and to fix any problems they might have had. It is not necessary to update your add-ons every time a new version is available. However, it is a safe bet that if one of your add-ons stops working after a Warcraft patch, there is a new version of your add-on available for download. It is a good idea to stop at the character selection screen and click the box at the bottom left that says Add-ons. Although most add-ons are updated every time a Warcraft patch comes out, some add-ons are not and continue to work with no difficulties. These add-ons are technically out of date because they were not written for the current version of Warcraft. You must check the box at the top of the screen that says Load Out of Date Add-ons. This will allow all add-ons you have installed to be loaded, regardless of what version they were originally written for. You should note that you may also select and deselect add-ons from this screen. If you uncheck an add-on, it will not be loaded from this time on, but still exists in your add-ons folder should you decide to reactivate it at a later date. Once your add-ons are installed or updated, you may restart the game and they will be automatically applied. If you decide after you have installed an add-on that you don't like it and wish to remove it, simply delete it from your add-ons folder and restart the game. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the Warcraft Science channel and favorite this video as our continued productions of these walkthroughs are dependent upon your support.